Hello, I am Purnima Shree with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering team. This video is about Avaya Enterprise Linux Bash update for Avaya Aura Experience Portal product. As we know, Red Hat has uh, released a CVE for the shell shock security vulnerability in the Bash shell used by the Linux. So this uh, is affecting all the experience portal servers. So these servers should be updated with a version of bash that addresses the CVE and several other related issues. So for the uh, software only customers, uh, uh, customers are requested to obtain the latest bash RPM directly from the Red Hat site and uh, for the customers who have uh, Avaya Enterprise Linux, we have uh, an updated bash RPM from our support site. Uh, you can find the link here with the file name uh, is bash-4.1.2-15.e16-5.2. i686.rpm. So this file can be obtained from the uh, support.avaya.com. Let's see the installation instructions for this bash RPM. First, we need to copy this RPM into the experience portal service, both BPMS, uh, the EPM and the MPP servers. So this can be done using the WinSCP software or using the SCP from uh, the intra network. So once this RPM is copied onto the EPM and the MPP servers, we need to log into the uh, experience portal server using the root logins. It can be sroot for the Avaya Enterprise Linux and it can be root for the Red Hat or the custom Linux. So let's, uh, for example, here we see we have logged in with sroot and we need to navigate to the directory where we copied the RPM which is uh, slash home slash craft in this example where we can see the RPM present. So from that particular directory, we need to issue the command for the RPM installation, which would be RPM space dash u space, the file name of the complete RPM, and then hit enter. And just wait for the prompt to come back as we see in the screen here. Once we have installed the required RPM on the EPM and the MPP servers, let's see what is the next step. We need to reboot each server after installing the RPM. So for the primary EPM and the auxiliary EPM servers, we need to first execute the service VPMS stop command on the primary and the auxiliary EPM servers. So once uh, the, the, this command is executed, this will stop all the VPMS services running on the EPM servers and then we can proceed with the reboot. You can either issue the reboot command directly or you can also use the shutdown space hyphen r space now command for rebooting the system. So once after finishing the reboot of the EPM server and, and once it comes back up, we can log into the EPM web page and then we need to proceed with the reboot of the MPP server once the RPM is also installed on the MPP servers. So under the system management, uh, when we click the MPP manager link, we'll have the option to reboot the MPP from the web page. So let's check the MPP server that we want to reboot and click on the reboot button. So that will ensure to reboot the syst MPP servers and the RPM installation is completed on the EPM and the MPP servers. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com.
Thank you for choosing Avaya.